What is up everybody, Arctic Potipus here today. I'm gonna bring you a video on Battlefield 1. So more specifically, it's gonna be about the weapons that might be in the future DLCs for Battlefield 1. So as you may know, there are gonna be some DLCs coming to Battlefield 1. Uh, the ones we know for sure are the French and the Russian DLCs. And these, um, are going to come probably I think the first ones in March and the next one after that I don't know but the first one is the French but I'm gonna talk about the potential weapons that'll be in both the French and the Russian DLCs or that could be um, so first I'm gonna talk about the French and I can almost guarantee that the Lebel rifle will be in the sharpshooter class or sorry the scout class <laughs> but anyway the Lebel rifle was the primary bolt action service rifle for the French during World War One. It featured a eight round tube fed magazine, internal magazine, and it's a bolt action operated gun. Um, that's why it's probably gonna go to the scout class. And it packs a pretty good punch with like an eight millimeter Lebel round, I think is what it's called. Um, yeah, so that's almost guaranteed gonna be the scout weapon that's coming with the DLC. And then for support, um, the Shosho LMG, which has a 20 round magazine and 240 rounds per minute rate of fire. Um, that will almost guaranteed be the support weapon for the French. I mean, we already have the Hotchkiss M1909, the Benet, the Benet Merci, which is also a French weapon, but their main used LMG was the Shosho. So. That's definitely going to be in the game. I can almost guarantee it. Um, then for the medic class, there's a few, there's like a few different options here for what the gun could be. And there might be more than one gun. So one of the options would be the Fusil Automatique Model 1917 or 1918. It's also just referred to as the RSC 1917. And it has a five round internal box mag and it's clip fed but it's semi-auto and that five rounds might put it at a disadvantage but it does fire an eight millimeter lebel round which could just up the damage to counter the uh five round internal mag and then another option for the medic class could be there's a munier uh, a6 1916 rifle which also has a five round magazine or there's like some experimental versions of the Mounier, which is um, they have a carbine version, which could use 10 or 15 round detachable mags. So those might be in the game too. Um, and then for the assault class, there are two SMGs that could could be in there. One is based on the Shosho LMG, and um, it was made in 1918. So like the Shosho Riverol. Um, and it still uses the 8mm Lebel round, the same as the one in the LMG. So it's going to be probably packing a punch if it's in the game, but it's still at a really slow rate of fire. And they might actually not put that in there, and they might put the Ripet Roll uh, 1918 automatic carbine, which fires a way smaller round. It's 8 by 25 millimeters instead. And uh, that fires at like 550 to 600 rounds per minute with a 25 round box mag so has a few more rounds than the other smg so the sidearms from the french were the mas model 1892 and the ruby semi-automatic pistol so the mas model 1892 was also known as the bell revolver a lot easier to say that one held six rounds and was a pretty good revolver and the other gun, the other sidearm from the French, was the Ruby semi automatic pistol. And it fires 32 ACP and holds 9 rounds in the magazine, which is one more than, um, than the Luger P08. So that's pretty nice. You'll probably get 10 because you can do a plus 1. You know. And that gun's made by Spain, which is kind of interesting. There's a little bit of a backstory behind it. But anyway... That's it for the French sidearms, just two. So that's it for the French weapons. And then I'm going to go into the Russian weapons. So I can almost guarantee that there will be a Mosin Nagant. Um, 
either the 91, the, the 1891 model, or the 1907 model. One of the two, or both, might, will probably be in the game. Um, and just like there's the Guver 98 and the 95. So maybe they, they might have both mode in the Gaunts for the Scout class. And what's unfortunate is that I don't think there's going to be either an LMG or an SMG coming to the Russians. Because they never made any LMGs or SMGs. But they have a really, really cool gun that I think will probably go to the Medic class. It is technically an automatic rifle, but I think the majority of the weapons were made with semi-automatic capability only. And these are called the Fedorov Avtomat uh, rifles. They have 25 rounds, and they're pretty beastly. They're technically considered the first assault rifles, which is interesting because most people think the Sturmgewehr from World War II on the Germans um, is the first assault rifle, but it's actually the Fedorov Avtomat. So hopefully that's going to be in the game. Actually, I could, I'm almost positive that will be in the game. But I looked really hard, could not find any LMGs or SMGs that were made by the Russians. But maybe um, Tyson and Ihe have a much better research ability and they might find some weird, really freaking weird experimental version of some gun. We'll see. Okay, so the Russian sidearm, there's only one. It's the Nagant Model 1895 service revolver and it actually interesting interestingly enough holds seven rounds of 7.62 by 38 millimeter rim and this revolver is actually really interesting because in world war ii i think they placed some suppressors on them and it's one of the only revolvers and maybe even the only revolver that can be suppressed like successfully and that that gun's pretty freaking cool but um i don't know maybe not everybody likes it but those are all the weapons that i think might be in the game and um if that's interesting to you please leave a like um if you want to subscribe go right ahead and i'll see you all in the next video